trophy. It would go to Arsenal if they produced a better result at Spurs than Chelsea could manage at Newcastle. Andy and Ali have barely moved since last night, but then why change the habits of a whole career? <laughs> so, before we get to White Hart Lane, here is what happened at Newcastle today. Guy Mowbray saw it. Towards Amiobi. Terry got his foot to it first. Here's Joe Cole. And Lampard looking for the return to Joe Cole. It's Joe Cole who scored in the Premiership for the first time for Chelsea. Wonderfully weighted pass from Lampard. And Cole had the determination to finish. Shearer. It's Aaron Ambrose letting fly. Great effort. Pretty good save too from Ambrosio. Johnson. Pressed forwards, checking his run to stay on side. Joe Cole is round the outside, looking for his second. Couldn't have been much closer. Viana. Amiobi holding off Desai. Amiobi! Half-time looming. Wonderful time to score. Superb timing for Newcastle's equaliser. Shots missed it. And Shearer using his weight against Desai. Alan Shearer's shot! It is fantastic! Johnson. Here's Cole. Drawing the jeers around St James's. Decent delivery! Super given save! Somehow he kept out Good Johnson. Clawed away from the goal by the Irish keeper. Here's Shearer! Oh, would you believe it? He's gone for a throw in. Well, he's seen some things in football. The honest touch. Here's Aaron Hughes. Into Ambrose. Now Shearer! Ambrosio kept it out. Melchior. Terry. Makaleli. Mario Melchior's continued his run. Away from Olivier Bernard, Hasselbank! Leaning back. Fired in towards Robert Hooth. Still Robert Hooth. Now a second chance to cross. Looking towards Terry! Oh, that was the chance. Chelsea should have been level. John Terry steaming in, goal at his mercy. We've been kissing that goalpost today because it happened on Thursday against Marseille. So we just have that little bit of luck which you need sometimes to win a game. Although we, we did deserve to win the game. We want to play and win for Chelsea, the fans, for the manager and for ourselves, you know. And we're all together and we just want to finish the season strongly. Yeah, Desai's let me turn on my, on my right hand side and um, when someone invites me to have a shot on my right, I don't pass it up. We had uh, six chances minimum against Middlesbrough without scoring. Another f six, seven against Everton without scoring. Today, you watch a match, what we can do? Nothing. Continue with this spirit, and I'm very, very optimistic. Well, that win for Newcastle not only kept the pot for fourth spot boiling, it meant Arsenal needed just a point at Spurs to take the title. John Champion saw the champions elect at White Hart Lane. The North London derby always matters, but this one matters more than most. First played out in 1909, the gulf between the sides has rarely been wider, the prize at stake for one of them never greater. Echoes then of a night 33 years ago when Arsenal won the championship on this ground thanks to a late header from Ray Kennedy. That was then, this is now, and these are today's teams. Spurs, still not safe from relegation, are relying on Freddy Canute to rediscover the route to goal. Keane is preferred to Defoe as his partner. 21-year-old Johnny Jackson plays the biggest game of his life on the left side of midfield. 
Thierry Henry scored more goals against Leeds than Tottenham have managed in the last two months against all comers. Ashley Cole returns at left back, whilst in the continuing absence of Freddie Youngberg, Ray Parler replaces Will Torn. Parler, the last English player to score here for Arsenal seven years ago. Incidentally, of the Gunners' 108 goals in all competitions this season, only four have been scored by Englishmen. Arsenal's modern-day hopes spearheaded by the finest goalscorer in the land, without question, Thierry Henry. And a link with the past, bridging 1971 and 2004, Arsenal's assistant manager, Pat Rice, who played right back on that famous Monday night. Newcastle have obliged by beating Chelsea, so the avoidance of defeat will be enough for Arsenal to claim the title. And let's face it, they've been successfully avoiding Barclay Park Premiership defeats now for nine on a year. And better to win the championship than in your nearest rival's backyard. Arsene Wenger kept in close touch with events at St James's Park and then disappeared into the visitors' dressing room looking quietly satisfied. Brown for Tottenham. Robbie Keane has only been a substitute for the past two games. He has a point to prove. And now Johnny Jackson. And that's a corner conceded by Toure. After less than two minutes of play. And Jackson will stay out there to take this. Canute joined by both centre-backs, Ledley King and Anthony Gardner both tall and powerful. That's in towards Gardner. One giant step towards another Premiership title and it came from a Tottenham corner. And we talk endlessly about the quality in front of goal of Thierry Henry. How about this? For an example in the art of how to lay on a goal assisted by Burkamp. Good job that Vieira six foot four that extendable right limb just managed to reach and Arsenal have the lead in the North London derby inside three minutes. They are off to a flyer. Stephen Kelly. Now Burkamp. To hook the ball, if not the man, he missed. Will Bergkamp? It hasn't taken long for David Feet to forsake his comfortable seat. Maurizio Tarico. Short of points, short of goals, short of wins. Here's Keane. And the buffeting he was taking has persuaded Mark Holsey to award a free kick. out the 10 yards. Surprise, surprise, Arsenal have retreated only eight. And they're back the requisite distance. And they have conceded only nine goals away from Highbury all season. So it'll take something special. And it'll come from Jamie Redknapp, and it's well held by Jens Lehmann. It would have been a major gap. And slip. Spurs appeal for a free kick. Doesn't matter now. Here's Tarico. Tottenham supporters doing their bit to try and encourage their favourites forward. Robbie Keane. One of them is Jackson. Here's Tarico. And Tarico went himself. And it was a very respectable effort. particularly when you consider that it comes from a player who in six seasons with Tottenham has found the opposition net only twice. Dipping and curling, but not quite enough. Lauren, Bergkamp. Robert Perez, not 
scratches his name on the White Hart Lane score sheet for the third season in a row towards the championship. And we mentioned earlier that of their 110 goals, as it is now, only four have been scored by Englishmen this season. I should now add that 67 have been scored by the French contingent. with Jackson. No stage in this one-sided half of Tottenham ever looked truly threatening. Red now. Now Simon Davis. It's been the extent of it for Spurs. Two long-distance efforts. The first from Tarico, which, like this one from Simon Davis, didn't clear the crossbar by very much. Redknapp. Now Gilberto for Pires. Now Bergkamp. And Parler is accompanying him forward. This is Thierry Henry. And it's opening up for Thierry Henry. And Keller quickly hurls the ball back into play. Key. to Canute through the legs of Perez and the arm of Vieira we get Tottenham <laughs> on the cusp of stoppage time Jackson the Arsenal substitutes he needs to appear today and in the rest of the games if he's going to get a Premiership medal it's been a stroll for Arsenal this in fact so far it's been no contest Arsenal fully in control Arsene Wenger fully satisfied two of the Musketeers have scored Vieira and Pires Spurs have managed only a couple of fairly tame shots from distance. Arsenal closing in, inexorably it seems, on a title that will rightfully be theirs. Half-time at White Hart Lane, it's Tottenham nil, Arsenal 2. White Hart Lane is hardly the place for an Arsenal party. There's already a celebratory mood in the camp of the soon-to-be-crowned Premiership champions. Here's Freddie Canute for Tottenham. Trying his luck from improbable distance. And it is improbable. But Spurs will manage to deny Arsenal their day of glory. It's an awfully long way back from 2-0 down against Arsenal of all teams. Here's Pires, and now Henri. Stage seems to be set for an Henri goal at some stage. One short of 30 in the league for the season. And there is his latest effort, with minimal backlift as usual. Bringing a sprawling stop from Casey Keller. From anywhere, at any time, he can score a goal. since Dennis Bergkamp last scored in this fixture. Defer. 
It's his first Tottenham goal at White Hart Lane since his home debut against Aston Villa nearly two years ago. And it breathes fresh life into Tottenham Hotspur. The first made a real impact, moved on swiftly by Brown, and then crack with that experienced right foot. Jamie Redknapp on the score sheet for the first time this season. And Arsenal are not home and dry just yet. Only the tenth time that Arsenal's defence has been breached away from home in the Barclay Cup Premiership this season. But they've yet to concede two in an away game. against Robert Perez and here's Thierry Henry is this his moment it's a rarity and it's a relief for Tottenham because they're still in this contest thanks to a very surprising miss who are making the majority of the noise at the moment. Nothing would please them more than to be able to deny their nearest rivals the title today. But for that to happen, they have to score at least two more goals. Michael Brown. With a shilly-shally. At first, the referee shook his head as if he wasn't going to give a free kick. Then he had a rethink. Jamie Redknapp. Oh, and it needed the tip over. Jens Lehmann hasn't had a whole lot to do. But he was wide awake. Tottenham sensing possibilities. Davis. Held out. An anti climax, in fact. rather happier now than they were in the first half. Vieira. Right of the crossbar. Still only 2-1. And still in play with Henri. He might try one himself. Travelled barely a yard and a half. And then Vieira is guilty of holding back Robbie Keane. But it should have been 3-1 and it should have been put beyond any reasonable doubt again Spurs contributing fully towards their own downfall rapier like shot but obstinately it bounced out again Cole now Perez layoff from Henri Robert Perez Henri hit the heel of his own man, Reyes. The one thing that this occasion has lacked so far is a goal from Thierry Henry. Gardner. Benute. Free kick. For a foul by Colo Torre, who's apoplectic. Concerned about the positioning of that wall. And this is Jermaine Defoe! And it's a really good save by Lehman. Arsenal determined to win the title with a win. But Tottenham have given this just about everything in the second half. Three extra minutes. Both players with notoriously short fuses. 
particularly the German goalkeeper. And he's called for Jens Lehmann. And he's called for Robbie Keane. And Mark Holsey was saying in the tunnel beforehand that on this showpiece occasion, the last thing he wanted to do was to have to produce a red card. sense has been an accident waiting to happen often this season and yellow too for Robbie Keane of course there remains the question of what action beyond a yellow card apiece Mark Halsey will want to take and his decision is a penalty to Tottenham he's decided to punish Lehman's indiscretion from there, from here, and from Highbury to Arsenal's title. can play a fantastic football but in the end if you don't win a trophy that will mean nothing and I think today by winning that uh, and playing the way we did and I think everyone will say how fantastic we are and I think this season we play a good football in the back it was really strong we don't concede so many goals through the season and um, we need and the way we win it and I think that make 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 us quite really proud all the time people were talking about uh, the way we play the ball 
but so many times people were not talking enough the way as well we, we dig we dig for each other you know the way we, we fight for each other the way we always like uh, uh, ne we never give up and it's not only about the skills you win title when you fight for each other and that's what we have done how aware were the players here would mean so much to the supporters yeah we won it two years ago at Old Trafford and today we won it at um, White Hart Lane so I think the fans were really proud of me and I think it's going to be a, a fantastic day for them you came off and then went back out for the celebrations yeah yeah I think um, that was the best way you know I didn't want to provoke anyone um, I wanted to be as gentleman as possible so uh, you know hopefully a lot of people appreciate that The overall achievement in the championship is the greatest since I'm here because we have uh, played 34 games and uh, we won the championship without uh, losing a game so that has never been done before by us and uh, the rest you let people judge you know. It was important in front of our supporters that we didn't give too much away and obviously after the shock of the first couple of minutes and then the second goal it was a very grave danger that we could be in real severe trouble today and the consequences of that would have been awful. I thought our players responded magnificently. What has got this team to the level it's been at this season, do you think? Because after last season's disappointment, we saw you, of course, that game against Manchester United when you were, personally, I think, so upset. It's been some response from you as well as the team. Big effort, big effort. Uh, for me, yeah, last year, you know, I missed the last four games and they were very important for Arsenal. And for me, it's been tremendous this season because I've had a lot of disappointments, you know, with my family, things like that, and I had to kind of dig deep. But, you know, here I feel... You know, the environment is, is fantastic for me. It's, it's a breeding ground, so, uh, you know, you, you come here, you just want to excel and keep on going. You talked about improving the disciplinary record, yeah. which has been a big factor, do you feel? I feel, yes, that after the Man United game, uh, we uh, looked in the mirror and said, listen, it, it's down to us. And uh, we responded well on that side and uh, focused only on football. The whole of North London belonged to Arsenal tonight, not just White Hart Lane, but particularly Highbury. The excitement is unbelievable. Well done! Champions! Champions! Temple is better than Chelsea, and, and who's that team in Manchester? I don't know. Arsenal are the champions this year. Fantastic. We got our trophy back. We got our trophy back. We got our trophy back. Yay, Ireland! Winning the league, always special, and congratulations absolutely to Arsenal worthy winners. We'll get to their season as a whole in a moment, but first of all, today, and I say we'll get to the season in a moment, Andy, but. The first half an hour or so at White Hart Lane, it was yeah. like a, a microcosm of their season. It certainly was, Matt. What a goal. What the opening goal that, that it just typified everything about Arsenal mm. uh, this season. Look, they're defending a set piece. Look at Patrick Vieira there. We got him circled. Now, watch. Ball is absolutely out of this world. And I'll tell you something. They're a little bit unlucky. Jimmy Redknapp's already pulled one back here, and they give away a penalty to Arsenal here. Liam is, I think, a little bit unlucky here. I've looked at it a few times, and I think possibly seen a bit too much of that uh, lately, diving around. But Robbie Keane actually could give Tottenham a lot of credit. They, they, you know, they fought their way back. That was an important day for them too, with, with needing something mm. and pride in front of their own fans. But uh, the day belongs to Arsenal. Well, it does. Everybody took something out of the day, but Arsenal take the major trophy, if oh. you like, the major prize. They've also, in terms of looking back over the season, had some memorable and I, I would suggest significant moments, Ali. Oh, very much, Sean. Sure. Any season you look back on during the campaign, there have been some big moments in them. Mm. You know, results at United, results against Chelsea, there have been marvellous moments. And they've, they've basically answered all the questions in the league campaign that's been asked of them. And that's all you can do. It's the only blemish was the Man United game, really, on their season. It was the only thing that was a bit disappointing. That was to win it, of course, that penalty, and, and everyone got really excited. And, of course, the rest is history, what happened here. It just got a little bit naughty. But since then, they've really sorted their discipline out. You know, that Arsene Wenger has obviously got the troops together there yes. and said, listen, that's out of order, let's cut that out. And since then, they've been very, very good with their discipline. I think, they, I think they probably learned a lesson from that uh, escapade at Old Trafford. But once again, look at the moment. Maybe just about the pass of the season there from Bergkamp to mm -hmm. Vieira. That pass was out of this world. Again, I'm sorry about harping on about it, but it's all about passing and movement out of this world. It really was a terrific goal. And, of course, they get the break there with the second goal for me, too. But that was a big, 
results from again at, uh, against Chelsea. And of course, this one was recently, just a few weeks ago. 2-1 down, they get, two, they get two in a minute. They've had a couple of hot, uh, defeats in the FA Cup and the Champions League, of course. And all of a sudden, bang, score two goals, show terrific character. And here's the man himself, obviously, that weaving and dancing his way past, past the Liverpool players. They don't know whether to, to you don't know whether to touch him, to, to defend him. Oh. Ain't got a clue what to do. You back off though at your peril. And he slotted it in wonderfully and just what a man. I tell you, of all the results, that was probably the one for me. Coming off the defeat against United in the Cup, yeah. the defeat from Chelsea, two one down at half time mm. because Make no mistake about it, that was the game everybody was monitoring. Yeah. Look, if there's going to be a sign of weakness, that was it. And believe me, there wasn't at half time. Just more on Henri in a second, but worthy champions, well worthy. Oh, fantastic. Listen, it would have been an absolute crime if they didn't win that mm. premiership this season. They have been an absolute, it's been a privilege watching yeah. them, Alan. They've been a joy to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Now, they've been, as always, good candidates for, for Player of the Year, Football Players Player of the Year, Shearer, of course, Frank yeah. Lampard, Stephen yeah, Gerrard. But you'd have to have been living, I don't know, Pluto or somewhere to not. Go for Thierry Henry now. Well, I mean, th this guy, you just run out of words to describe what mm. he gives Arsenal. I mean, he's just such a, such a wonderful athlete, uh, uh, an intelligent man as well. You know, he, he, he doesn't just bomb around all over the place. And he's just got, he can just do that. He can just win you games with just a moment of sheer genius. He's Complete just modern forward. Well, I'll tell you, to be honest with you, Matt, and I were talking about it earlier on, there's been fantastic strikers in the Premiership. You know, where you're talking about Shearer, you're talking about Michael Owen. But this fella here might just have everything in his yeah. repertoire in oh. terms of pace. And, and looking at him, for the amount of goals he scores, I can't believe, I honestly can't believe the amount of goals he creates, yeah. for the amount of goals he scores. And, and he, his acceleration going away from players with the ball, I mean, this is just a, a genius at work. You, you can count the amount of games on one hand that he's not really perhaps done uh, mm. performed this year. Chelsea game in the Champions League, one or two others, he hasn't really done it. But on top of all that, he's out there week in, week out, Matt. He's a very durable yeah. player as well. He doesn't miss many games. He's an absolute... Uh, he's, just, he's just a phenomenon. And seems happy to have a future at Arsenal, which is crucial. Well, it's certainly making the sounds he makes. You know, I think he's very happy with the yeah. club. Yeah. Indeed, the, the club are rightly so very, very happy with him. And I think it's... Uh, you know, I think there's a future for the two of them there together. Lest we forget, they remain unbeaten. Will they now go the whole season? Likely, I guess. I hope so. I hope so, because I think the team deserves to set new standards and break records. And, and, and I just, it, it, as I say, just watching them I is just such a pleasure. I really hope they do. I hope so too, Andy. But the only thing is, when, when you've now got the league in the bag, it becomes a mental thing. I don't, sure. I don't care yeah. what MD says. Sometimes at the back of your head, you do take the foot off the gas a little bit. I hope they don't. Now let's just drag you both back um, to the earlier game in the day, which was also significant, Newcastle-Chelsea. Big win for Newcastle, and they had good and bad in the day. The, the victory in Shearer's goal, terrific, but more injuries, more problems. This is a problem, as Bobby said after the game, they, they probably had a little bit of luck. This is worrying, yeah. not just for Newcastle, who don't have their injuries to seek, but also for England, Andy. I mean, he's got, th apparently it's a thigh strain. Yeah. Maybe if Newcastle can win, can win in Marseille this week, he may be fit for a UEFA Cup final, possibly, but... Of course, it's very, very, very tight now. If he was to damage his thigh again, playing in the UEFA Cup final, he could miss the summer. Still a lot to play for briefly. Chelsea for second, of course, and Liverpool and Newcastle and Villa for fourth, I it's guess. All, it's all going. We've still got you know, a couple of weeks to go in the season. Second place, fourth place, and of course the relegation place. It's all very interesting. It is. You should title with four games to spare. Chelsea missed the chance to go clear in second, while Newcastle are level with Liverpool again with a game in hand on them and Aston Villa. At the other end, as we've said, it looks like three from four. Big point for Spurs today, and Portsmouth now away from danger, having hit the 40-point mark for the game in hand. For this day, and this trophy belongs to Arsenal. They've won the title at Old Trafford at Anfield, and now for a second time at White Hart Lane. Congratulations to Arsene Wenger and all at Arsenal. The last team to beat them in the league, Leeds. Funny old game, eh, from all of us.